phosphorus shells seen at right center, and phosphorus bombs released into the bomber formation from high-flying interceptors are typical of Jap anti-aircraft tactics. Each streak marks the path of a phosphorus pellet. On the whole, this Jap weapon has been ineffective. It's so widely employed, however, that ordnance in the field studies captured types with considerable interest. At a bomber base on Saipan, a group ordnance officer demonstrates the assembly of a captured Jap 32 kilogram phosphorus bomb. The side fins rotate the bomb for greater stability. Three and one half pounds of picric acid bursting charge are contained in the tail cone and in a steel tube running the bomb's length. The canister itself holds 198 steel pellets filled with phosphorus. A test demonstrates that combat crews have underrated the range and explosive power of the Jap 32 kilogram bomb. A 250 kilogram bomb of nearly the same type is also prepared for detonation. It's charged with 750 pellets. The 32 hurls pellets over an area bounded by a 300 yard radius. A 